Guys, what is up? Welcome to my basement. This room's kind of old, gross, just where I throw everything, but it's also my laundry room. The laundry room is why I'm making this video. I'm about to start gutting and renovating my laundry room. I'm gonna turn this old thing into something beautiful, something functional, something new and modern. OG white washer and dryer. They still work, but the washer, when it goes into the spin cycle, goes haywire. The dryer is kind of just a nightmare. I mean, you can see just from the surface what the condition is. Inside is not much better. Little laundry sink, which would be fine, except the old owners of the house put this half wall here so that they could hang a mirror. This was a student house before, I should mention. So there was like seven girls living in this house. So of course, gotta have the mirror. As you can see, they just kind of patchworked that in. Some completely inaccessible shelves. Basically inaccessible laundry sink. You know, the wall basically covers the entire thing. The wall is pretty disgusting and it doesn't get much better down there. And again, this little headpiece here was just patchworked in. You can see the original railing right there. But yeah, this space needs some work. Can't wait to get this crap out of here and make it pretty. day. Machines in place, plumbing's ready to go. All of that is going to be gutted out today and then all of these new cabinets are going in. This new sink is going in. We've got all the new components down here. Our new tiling is in place. Painting pretty much complete up there and then back here we also have a new countertop so it's gonna be a really long really busy day you're gonna help out pup it's gonna look really good I think when it's all done so cute time lapse and let's put it all together after about a month of work. This is the nearly finished product. Still a little bit of painting on this wall and of course I still need to do some baseboard work. And that means now we can talk a little bit more about this machine and what makes it so unique. So if you're even considering one of these guys for your laundry room, first thing to make note of, it is massive and it's a single giant piece. Nothing comes apart, nothing comes off. Weighs over 300 pounds. It's a big guy. Definitely something to keep in mind. So one of the things that drew me to this unit in particular was this unified control panel here on the front. Your washer and dryer power and controls are all up here in one spot. On most stack units, you've got one control down here and another set of controls way up here. Instead on this unit, everything is right here unified in the middle. Now there are only six presets over here and a bunch of controls over there. But as you see, there are, is a download option for both and you can actually sync with the app, the LG Smart Home app, and download programmed different settings to your device. So you can essentially do whatever you need to do, a myriad of controls, all of these customized. It's pretty slick. There's a lot of options and you can really, really go down the rabbit hole if you want to get into it. But for somebody that needs to be able to wash a little bit of everything at home, 
you can do it. So speaking of apps, you can see here the three dots for signal. This unit, yes, is connected to my home Wi-Fi network, which means not only can I check the status of the unit, see if the wash is done, if the dryer is done, if something's still running, what the cycle remaining time is, what the current program set is. I can, of course, as I mentioned already, sync over different washing and drying cycle times and, and styles, but I can actually start this unit remotely from wherever I might be. Now, a lot of people in the comments are gonna be like, you can remote control your washer dryer, how stupid is that? People tell me that all the time. How often do you do laundry and you forget to take your clothes out of the dryer and they get a little wrinkled in there? Well, if that happens to you, now you can say, oh, I forgot about that, but not to worry, I can just do a quick 15 minute run, get the wrinkles out of there. And of course, because there's a companion app, it does send you push notifications as soon as the cycle is complete and you can immediately take those out of there. The odds are, if you're paying attention to your phone, you're not gonna miss your load when it's finished in this device. Now, unlike some stacked units, capacity in here is excellent. Nothing to be worried about. You're gonna get a ton of room to do all sorts of loads, everything from bedding to linens to clothes, whatever you name it, tons of room in this device to get that done. And one of the coolest features, at least for me, is once you've set up the wash cycle, whatever custom it might be, whether it's bedding a normal heavy duty or you're doing an ultra delicate, something you've downloaded from the app into the LG Wash Tower, as soon as you take it out of here and you turn on the dryer, the dryer automatically syncs with the other side of the unit and pulls the right program to correctly dry whatever you just washed. That's really neat. That's something that not a lot of units are doing and it's definitely not something that normal stacked units can do because they're not really synchronized. That's a really huge key advantage. Again, something that I love because you don't have to think about setting this all up again after you've already set it up on the bottom the first time. Really handy to have. Now, of course, one of the biggest elephants in the room and then one of the biggest things you have to talk about with the wash tower is the price and also something tied to the form factor, the longevity of it. So this unit is not cheap. This guy here in this particular color was 2,400 Canadian dollars before delivery and taxes. So coming in at around the $3,000 mark. And of course, with this being one giant integrated unit with a ton of brains and technology in it, there is a lot of opportunity for something to go wrong. Now the inverter motor is backed by a 10 year warranty, but the vast majority of the other components on this device are not. Depending on your circumstances, depending on your situation, extended warranty may not hurt to get on this particular unit. Just something to keep in mind if you're in the market. Overall, I have been a big fan of this device. It saved me lots of time and the notifications from the app are handy. Also, simply because of the space I was working with. This particular form factor, whether it was this unit or not, but a stacked setup of some sort was really the best way to maximize the space in this laundry area and take advantage of being able to get some more storage, which is also very limited in my basement. So maximizing this space was absolutely crucial in putting this redesign together. So on the whole, I have to give the wash tower probably like a seven and a half out of 10 rating. It's really cool. It's got a lot of bells and whistles, very tech friendly. And again, the synchronization between the two units saves you a lot of time. You just set it and forget it. You don't have to really think about it over and over again, which is great. Typical stacked units, you set the washer, then you gotta go and set the dryer again. You don't have to worry about it with this guy. But the size, the weight, the risk of something going wrong because of its integrated single unit design and the price are definitely detriments, but these are readily available. And when I was shopping for washers and dryer units that I could stack myself, they were all sold out. Things will obviously change down the road once supply chain situations sort of stabilize. But right now in 2022, this is a readily available option if you're in the market for a stacked washer and dryer. And it's kind of got a little bit of everything to satisfy a little bit of everybody's needs. I do recommend if you're in the market for a new washer dryer, you check out the wash tower from LG. Very cool device. I'll put a link down below so you can check it out a bit more. Thanks for watching guys. And we will see you in the next one.